Hafide and good morning, Guam. I'm Rebecca Elmore with PNC, bringing you your morning news first. Thanks for joining us. Topping your news this morning, yesterday, a head-on collision resulted in the death of at least one victim. Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Aurelio Espinola indicates that the victim died from a severely broken back and lacerated spleen. An early morning traffic accident yesterday near the Jigo drag strip was a cause for at least one fatality. Fatal crash happened just before dawn. And when the Guam Fire Department's units arrived at the scene, they discovered that the two cars had collided head on. GFD spokesperson Kevin Riley said one of the vehicles had ultimately ended up overturned on the side of the road. But the accident proved fatal. Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Aurelio Espinola tells PNC that the victim's name is Michael Ikeda. Espinola says the 46 year old victim might have easily died on impact as he suffered from a broken back and lacerated spleen. Espinola estimates that Ikeda's injuries indicate that he was speeding, and he also says testing for alcohol and drug-related influence is still underway. According to Lieutenant Archangel, the case is still actively under investigation by the Highway Patrol Division. Meanwhile, sources say Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio has found a running mate. According to multiple sources, Tenorio has selected former Senator Tony Atta as his running mate. There have been stickers showing up saying VOTA 2018, the letters T and A highlighted in red, which sources say stands for Tenorio and Atta. However, PNC reached out to the Republican Party chairman, Victor Cruz, who could not confirm nor deny whether or not Tenorio and Atta were in fact running for governor and lieutenant governor. Instead, in response to our questions, Cruz issued the following statement that reads, Vota is the Chamorro word for vote, and as the Republican Party of Guam, we constantly want to encourage our residents to let their voices be heard by casting a vote in the 2018 election, or to use the next year to register to vote. Meanwhile, the Office of Public Accountability has released the GovGuam Single Audit Report on Compliance and Internal Controls for FY 2016. The audit found $432,000 in question costs due to the Department of Public Health and Social Services and Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center's non-compliance with applicable procurement regulations. The audit also found that Guam Behavioral Health spent $24,000 on three purchase orders using sole source procurement without any written determination, demonstrating that there was only one source for the required television advertisements, hotel venue, and curriculum training. The report also notes that Public Health did not provide a procurement file for three contracts amounting to $180,000. Well, as always, for the full report of these stories, be sure to log on to our website at pacificnewscenter.com and don't forget to check out our social media pages, our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a wonderful morning, everyone. We'll see you tonight.